I'm going to show you five simple tricks that will teach you how to fuck somebody the fuck out. By the time that I'm finished with you, you're going to be like a fucking crab on a fucking crab beach. They're like a fucking, I don't know, lobster biscuit or something. All right, Kev, before we get started, there's one fucking simple move that I need to teach you, all right? This move is the fucking foundation of everything that I'm about to show you. It's the fucking core, you know? You need that strong fucking core if you want to fucking succeed in a street fight or a bar fight or whatever the fuck, cocktail fight, whatever the fuck you want to do. All right, kid, so this core fucking move I've been talking about is very fucking simple, very fucking easy, all right? It's called the charge. Now, essentially what the charge is, is you're gonna wanna open up your whole arms, all right? Use that whole fucking wingspan like this. You're gonna roll back on those flex attendants and you're gonna bounce forward and you're gonna fucking charge, all right? So hopefully you've been doing your fucking squats in the gym, otherwise you're not gonna have enough fucking springage in your legs and you're gonna get yourself fucked if you try to do this, okay? Now, to execute a proper charge, it requires a lot of shoulder right here. It's kind of like a fucking football tackle, all right? Some fucking Tom Brady shit. Essentially, after you roll back, you just move in for that fucking charge, all right? Now, it's kind of hard to show you in the uh, punching bag here because it's got a little bit of swingage here so we're gonna bounce over here to the fucking body dummy it's got a little more resistance and I'm gonna show you what you can do with the charge all right cats so as you can see this is a body training dummy uh, these things are great you know to practice your targeting practice your striking whatever it is you need to do but uh, today we're gonna be focusing on the charge uh, if you're gonna be using this maneuver a lot I highly recommend that you get one they are a little on the expensive side but uh, this is really it's the best way to go about practicing this charge unless you want to I don't know go out in the Go out into the woods and fucking Van Dam some fucking trees down, but then you gotta worry about some fucking environmental fucking coming over telling you not to knock down his trees. Yeah, but fuck him, you know, that's what this video's for, so that you don't have to take that kind of fucking shit. Now, Kev, if you want to execute a proper charge, it is very particular that you charge with your left shoulder, right? This is a left shoulder charge. You never want to charge with that right shoulder. Only charge with the left, because the left shoulder is your charging shoulder. Now, the second that left shoulder connects, you're gonna slide the rest of your arm up his back like you're doing some gay fucking fairy fairy tango dance shit. And then you're gonna place that right, right here, okay? Now, but this isn't just a place, it's a strike. If you just place it, he's gonna think that you're gonna try to slide it up and go for a kiss. And we all know that's not what you're fucking doing. But if you give him that impression, he's gonna fucking kick your ass. And you're gonna make me fucking look bad. Do not make me regret making this fucking video. It's a strike, all right? You wanna hit him fucking hard. You wanna hit him so fucking hard, it's fucking hot stops, right? When you hit him. You look at this. Make his fucking hat fall in front of his eyes. Man can't see, a man can't fight. Cobra Kai never died. So the charge is composed of three points. Three points of contact. You got shoulder, left, right, all right? One, two, three. And if you want, you can get that fucking leg in there too for a little more stability. However, you're not gonna do it in that contingency like that, all right? You're not a fucking robot. You're not gonna go after the guy and try to charge him like one, two, three. It's all gonna be one fluid motion, all right? Boom. So the leg part of the charge technique is pretty fucking simple as long as you've been doing your squats like I told you to. When you charge with that left, and you should be charging with that left, you wanna make sure that your left foot is forward, all right? You never wanna do a charge like this. This doesn't make any fucking sense. If you're charging with the left, your left is forward, all right? You want to make pretend that you got fucking strings attached to your fucking wrists and your fucking knees, all right? Wherever the left goes, the left goes. Where the right goes, the right goes. You're like fucking puppet man, all right? The second you make contact with that charge, you want to make sure that 70% of your weight goes to this back foot and you want to pivot it, all right? You're not going to charge like this. You're going to pivot that charge because having that torque is going to give your charge more power. Boom! All right, cat, quiz time. What the what do you do with this charge? Left shoulder, bring up the hand, strike, torque, and push. Uh, if you need to see uh, exactly where the targeting is, we can lift up your shoulder. Shoulder goes right here where that lung is, and then this right hand comes up, hits right there, and you push. Hopefully by now, you have mastered the charge, and you're ready for me to teach you these five tricks that are gonna help you to win any fucking fight ever. Trick number one, as soon as the confrontation starts, you act like you do not want to fight. Whoa, my friend, I don't want any trouble. I don't want any fucking trouble, my friend. But when they least expect it, you fucking charge them. I don't want any trouble. Trick number two, clearly this fucking wants to fucking fight. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put up your dukes and you're gonna make it look like you're gonna hit them. All right, but if we're gonna do this, we're gonna fucking do this, my friend. You better get ready because here comes the punch, my friend. Just when they think you're gonna sock them in the face, charge them. Here it comes! Trick number three works almost every fucking time, Kevin. The second you see him swelled up and ready to go, you tell him to hold on a second and you pretend to tie your fucking shoe. Whoa, whoa, time out. Before we finally need to tie my shoe, all right? I just need to tie my shoe, all right? And if calling a timeout to tie your fucking shoe isn't enough to startle the guy, 
Wait till you charge him. I just need to tie my shoe. Trick number four might take a little bit of practice. You're gonna pull your wallet out of your f***ing pocket and you're gonna throw it on the ground, but then you're gonna tell him that he dropped his wallet. Whoa there, tough guy. Whoa, you dropped your wallet. You dropped your wallet. Let me get that for you. Let me do something nice and get you your wallet. In the enemy's mind, they're like, oh, he's just being a f***ing good Samaritan, picking up my f***ing wallet. Little does he know, you're about to f***ing charge him. You just hang tight for a minute. And I'll get your wallet. There's also a modified version of this technique that you can use. What, what is this, a bank account? And trick number five, when in doubt, f***ing charge. So hopefully this charge technique is enough to help you win any f***ing fight. But you remember, if it's not, when in doubt, pull out a knife and slit his f***ing throat. Now obviously you might not be a natural at it like I am, you know, you might f***ing suck. But don't fret, this can take f***ing years to get good at it. But if you stick to it, soon enough, you're gonna be charging people for the f***ing charge. I'm f***ing sports guy Dave. F***ing signing off, cat.